Hello everybody, my name is MyGravities and welcome to another episode of the Plundercraft server. Today we are somewhere where we have never been before. Because there are now two new members on the Plundercraft server. They are ATA Champ and uh, I believe Reflex Zipper. I think that's his name, hold on. Yeah, sorry, Relax Zipper, not Reflex. <laughs> but... There's also a whole bunch of other things I want to show you today. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Alright, so we are here at ATA Champ and Zip's base. So Zip's base is over there and this is ATA Champ's portal and that is where his... Uh, his AFK fish farm and everything is. But we have had some new additions to the server. Uh, some additions that are going to make the server much, much better. Um, one of them includes one player sleep. So now only one player has to... Oh, I'm being attacked. What am I... Oh, okay. So yes, only one player needs to sleep. The next thing that has been added on is spectator mode. This is not what I need. I uh, actually gave it to my camera account, and um, now I don't have the right things, but I can use it with these. So if I crouch with the diamond, it will put me into adventure mode. With this, I am now able to fly. As you can see, I'm flying. And then we can just go like this, and now we can have our own third-person time lapses. And we're going to be doing that very shortly when I get the second account all set up. Um, but I just have to get it set up on Xbox. Because I did have it on my tablet, but my tablet lagged way, way too much for it to do it. So I'm going to do it on Xbox instead, and hopefully it doesn't lag as much. But with this, we are now able to fly around. Uh, we can't go through things. We can go through mo some things. Um, I would like to thank, though... Um, Foxy No Tail. Uh, he is, uh, I believe, an admin on the Truly Bedrock server. It's another server here on Bedrock. It's another realm, just like Plundercraft. Uh, of course, it's way more popular than Plundercraft. But Foxy No Tail made add-ons to make it that there's only one player asleep and that we can have spectator mode. Because as you all know, we don't have spectator mode on Bedrock Edition. But with this, we are able to do many things. Uh, there are some things that I have told the members not to use. Uh, there is the chorus fruit, which lets you teleport to a, the nearest member. There is also uh, a water bottle, which lets you focus in on that member, which would be good for time lapses, but I don't want to do that. And then there's also the these two things here, the iron nugget and the golden carrot. The iron nugget takes you out of spectator mode. Look at that. You just saw the one player sleep in action. Silver, uh, Silver Raptor went to bed. He was the only one who went to bed, and now it's morning. Next is the golden carrot. The golden carrot gives me night vision. Uh, so if I am doing a time lapse, I can have this in, in night vision mode, and it will be able to do that. And I don't, I have no idea if we're able to remove the night vision with the golden carrot. It doesn't look like it. So we have to do that with an iron ingot to get rid of it. So that's, I guess that's okay. What if I, okay. Oh, okay, I can get rid of it with by crouching with the diamond. Okay, that's good to know. But um, I am most excited about the um, the one player sleep in the spectator mode because I will now be able to do third person time lapses. There will not be one in this video because as I said, I do not have my second account all figured out. But with this all said, we are now going to get in to today's video. Just to also let you all know, I will not be using well, I will not be using this to fly around. Um, I'm actually going to, when I get the camera account all figured out and fixed, I'm going to be revoking access to the main account for this, so I will not be able to use this. But, we are now going to head over to my base and do some building. Alright everyone, here we are. Now, um, I have some cats here, I haven't named them yet, but we're going to be doing some things with them later on. Um, not in this video, but maybe another video. But, uh, here we are on the server. Uh, on at my base and I just want to come over and show you this again we did this on our last video maybe I did I can't remember anymore what we've done and haven't done it's been a while since I've recorded 
but um, I believe yes we did this in our last video our diamond pile and I do come back every day just to make sure no diamonds have been stolen now with this we have two choices for what we can do we can either work down here or we can work on the new project that I have started at my base. Let's go there and I'll show you that. And we might actually work there because it's brand new. And um, so I'm going to show you this and then we might hop into a time lapse to work on it. So I'm going to look down. I might have spoiled it when I was over at my at the other desert temple. But we're just going to come right here. We'll come through the portal. And we'll just... Ready? Three, two, one. Look at this. So I am making a makeshift uh, my own version of a cave here in this mountain i did not know what i wanted to do with this mountain i was going to take the whole mountain out and build more buildings but i didn't i built this cave and uh i may be spoiled it already but i also finished the portal i built up the uh, last two pillars for the portal i did start the pillar the pillars in the one video where we made the, the trading hall i made the bases around it but this is what it would look like. This is what it looks like when it's done. Uh, it does go into that building because this building is going to go higher, as I have said. And that is why if we come to the top of the building, uh, we can see that it is cut in half. Because we're going to be building up there more. I believe it's going to go five floors tall, so it is going to be a pretty tall building. I want to say, I've done some huge derps. Some very big derps. And you say, oh, how? Um... Look at what these are named. Diamond pickaxe, diamond sword. I lost my tools again. <laughs> I did not lose Silky, or the Clapper, or El Chapa, or the Boeing 747. But I did lose Lucky and Excalibur in the nether. We were building a tunnel to get to the Mesa biome, and a gas shot me off, and I fell in lava and lost this. And... All my armor as well. So that's why I only have two things enchanted. So uh, we need to get some more enchantments for this. We might not do it this episode. Because I've got a whole bunch of stuff I want to do. Because we have an event happening. Because to the, the day this video comes out. The event starts. Uh, it'll be Easter. And we're doing an Easter event here on the server. So before we get into our time lapse to do the building. I'm going to show you about the Easter event. So let's go do that. Alright everyone. So now we are here in Plunderville. And, um, a lot has changed here. Uh, what is that? Oh, fishing rod. Who's got me? You've got me. You're about to die. <laughs> so we have the Plunder Bunny Egg Extravaganza. Hello, everyone. I see you have noticed the egg I laid. It took a very long time. So please, would you join me in a game? I'm the Plunder Bunny. On Sunday, April 12th, which is the day that this video comes out, I will hide all of my Easter eggs around the wonderful world of Plundercraft. To participate in my game, it costs a mere five diamonds. You then will be entered into the Plunder Bunny Egg Extravaganza, TM. It will run for one week, and you must try to find my Easter eggs, colored concrete powder, light blue, pink, magenta, and yellow. This con- oh, did I skip things? No, I didn't. This contest will go on for one week. The person who finds the most eggs wins all the diamonds. Please remember, I know how many eggs I laid, so no cheating. I have an exact number of how many eggs I placed down. If there is any more than that number, you cheated. Please make this fair for everyone. Leave some eggs for people. Do not take all of them. Give people a chance. Some will be so hidden no one will find them. That is okay. For bases that you are not allowed to go to, do not go to them. The Plunder Bunny Egg, the Plunder Bunny egg Extravaganza will end April 19th at 6pm EST. So get hunting on Easter Sunday, and I will see you then. Plunder Bunny. So this is the game that I have set up for Plundercraft. Oh, look at that. We have uh, ATA Champ, Dan's Diamonds, Pepe's Diamonds, and Zip. So we now have four people who have signed up. I'm actually going to put diamonds, even though I am running this, I'm going to put diamonds in there that um, add to the pile. So then whoever wins will win just a few more diamonds. And we'll put them right in there. So now the prize is 25 diamonds. There are some people who still have, who said they want to join, but they don't have enough diamonds to do it. Uh, Silver Raptor, who's on right, oh, never mind, he got off. He wants to do it, but he doesn't have enough diamonds to do it. So he asked if he could sign up later, like still do it, but then put in his diamonds later. And I said, that's okay. But there's also this game, which is the, uh, where is it? Bounty Hunt, I believe. Bounties, I think that's what it's called. Put the head here, grab your head, not start bounty, old... 
What? I'm very confused with this game. But, um, what it looks like, I did sign up for it, though. Uh, what I have been told is you get ahead, there's no PvP, but people have to then barter with you for the head. And if they can get your head, I think you have to give them dime. I'm not sure how it works. I'm going to have to ask Zip how it works. Uh, I'm just going to do that. There we go. Bounty 5. So Zip has a bounty of 5. I have a bounty of 5. Daniel the biggest dingus has a bounty of 0. And then Silver Raptor got rid of his. But what we do have to do in this video is update the mail room because of the two new members. So I'm going to do that quickly. And there's one, and there's two. There we go. Two new mailboxes added to the Plundercraft uh, thing. <laughs> and just to let you all know, these are the members for the fund for Plundercraft season one. There will be no more new members. These last two are the last two members to join the server. So if we look here, one, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yes, there's 15 members. I forgot to count myself. Do you see these right here? These are the eggs. I gave half of them to Daniel. In, uh, in a little bit, before we end the episode, I'm going to go and place these eggs around. Alright? So, without further ado, we are now going to actually get into our video. Let's go hop into a time lapse at our base. Alright everyone, so that was a very good time lapse. I think this has turned out very well for an entrance. I'm, I'm gonna probably remove these soon. I might turn that to stone. I'm not fully sure yet. But I do like how this is turning out. I like this a lot. Uh, and the only reason there's one granite thing here is because there's granite underneath it. So I didn't want I wanted to match it. But I am actually, I think I'm gonna change it to just a, a piece of cobblestone just like that. I think that'll look good. Uh, this die right here, I left this open because this is going to lead into a cave. Uh, I'm going to dig it down that way. But the main cave is going to be right here and it's going to go all the way down to uh, around maybe... It's going to go close to bedrock basically. Uh, I like these stalactites I made and the stalagmites here. Oh yeah, I know them. Stalactites, because they hang tight to the ceiling, and stalagmites, because they are on the ground. <laughs> but uh, I think this is actually looking really, really good. Uh, I like how it's turned out, and that actually might be coming to the close of what we do for this episode on this. I think it's actually turned out really good, and when we come back uh, tomorrow, sorry, and when we come back next week, I'll probably go and do some more. I am just going to do some a little a little bit of touch-ups just here and there uh, I didn't really do that much to this corner I probably should 
looks like everyone's just leaving and uh, leaving me here by myself <laughs> but that's okay oh uh, I wanted normal stone there we go I think that'll look good maybe have some stone right there uh, I think this is actually looking really really good and uh, I cannot wait to see how this all turns out but our video is still not done. What are you doing? You can't get in there. I, You can't go in there. I'm sorry. I, Those are my villagers, not yours. I just got to make sure all my doors... Okay, yeah, all doors are closed. But um, I think now it is time to take these, since I'm the only one besides Pepe on the server, to take these eggs and go hide them around Plundercraft. So, without further ado, let's do this. Alright everybody, uh, I have now placed all of the eggs around in Plunderville. Uh, I did, I'm going to do a little bit of a time lapse of some of them, but there are some that I want to keep hidden, so I will cut those out of the time lapse. But anyways guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, we got a lot done, and um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure you slap that like button silly in the face like there's no tomorrow. If you have not done so, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button to join Team m d and uh, hopefully next episode we will be able to do the spectator mode and that'll be a great thing. There are two creepers in that corner that I'm going to kill before they come to my base and blow me up. But anyways guys, I will see you guys all in the next video. Goodbye! <laughs>